Hello, it's another video from the Angry Photographer. I want to show you an APS-C uh, crop sensor and uh, show you just how fragile they are. And of course the answer is not really fragile. Well, they are, especially to laser light and other things, not implying they're not fragile. First we're going to remove off, remove this bracket that was held with four screws. And uh, this is a, uh, move off a second little bracket. So another metal bracket on top of the uh, sensor and then we're going to remove a little filter that's sitting on top of the sensor now you can see where I scratched the heck out of this uh, for humor's sake before but you can see the thickness on the glass it's uh, actually uh, three different layers One's an anti-aliasing filter, an AA filter, that sits on top of the sensor. So, very neat. Now we have reached the actual sensor itself. And we can peel back the rubber gasket protecting it. Yep, it's just rubber. Now we have reached the actual sensor itself. Beautiful, isn't it? So when you thought I was uh, taking the screwdriver to the uh, sensor before, I actually was not impacting the sensor, although of course it would have, you know, irreparably destroyed the images, but uh, technically I did give it a really hard whack, so there actually is a vertical crack damage there, but I mean, we're talking about... Uh, 25 pounds of impaled force but what it was what I was impaling was uh, this triple laminate piece of uh, glass and uh, filter that sits over top of the uh, of the uh, of the sensor let's see if I can zoom in a bit for you beautiful isn't it Eh, zoomed in a little too far. There we go. Yeah, I've just got a little headlamp on. Um, what's the important point to take away from this? And that is that uh, we all know how delicate the sensor is, but uh, when it comes to actually doing a sensor cleaning, um, so far as using the, the special uh, sensor wipes, um, you're not actually touching the sensor, you're touching this. Now, ultimately, since it's all one unit, if you cause, uh, you know, you get transfer any sort of uh, hand oils or facial oils, you never want to touch anything that touches uh, the protective cover of the sensor because it's going to leave residue like you can see here. You can see that oily residue right there but you're not actually touching the sensor sensor is actually well guarded in the back of your uh, DSLR be it Canon, Nikon entry level uh, APS-C or even full frame sensor so um, you shouldn't uh, consider uh, if you do yourself a little training uh, you know watching the video that I posted on uh, cleaning uh, your sensor you shouldn't be uh, that concerned about uh, cleaning your sensor um, you know, why pay someone 60 bucks to do it and you could buy like a $30 cleaning kit and that cleaning kit will last for, I don't know, five or six cleaning, uh, five or six cleanings. I mean, you saved yourself a few hundred dollars there over the next few years. So, you know, that, and that, uh, doofus, Captain Doofus, uh, Rockwell said that he, he never, uh, he never cleans a sensor. He, he blows on them and, <laughs> Some other crazy stuff, but there's a lot of fear out there about uh, cleaning uh, your digital sensor. And uh, if you uh, now that you've seen this, you can uh, actually feel more assured that you're not actually touching your sensor. Rather, you're touching. Uh, of course, I took a really, really heavy stabbing jab at this to cause that damage. I mean, just a destructful jab, but I still didn't actually impact the sensor itself underneath all of that. So. Glad I could show this to you. I don't think there's another video out there like this, so it's interesting uh, 
Like when I used to do gunsmithing work, the more you know about something, the more you feel confident around it and knowing what you can and can't do. So these are really very beautiful. They've got a really neat holographic effect too, the light shining in them like that. Anyway, another video from the Angry Photographer, and I will catch you later, all right? Oh, and my uh, D750 is on the way. I ordered my uh, my uh, Nikon D750, and it'll be here in a couple days. Of course, I've already used one before, so. Anyway, that'll be fun and interesting, so catch you later.